with 50,000 going to the runner-up. The ground from the side too, but the rod is nudged towards the left corner. Yes, Clive, it's, it's one of those shots he's probably got to play, but he might not fancy very much. It, the cue ball is not really under much control. It's heading, you would think, somewhere in towards the bunch. Terribly difficult to play it that slow as he had to. He was going to retain black ball position. It's a very brave shot to play, isn't it? You know, I mean, you're putting all your faith in the table, which I think held up well under pressure there. It went in a straight Quite line, but in a kind of pot that was not hanging over the pocket. Sixteen. O'Sullivan is a master of opening the bunch while retaining position on a red that is already loose. Though others have been developed into possible positions, like that one. Seventeen. Twenty-two. Slight grimace. He didn't play that perfectly. Table's just missed the red below it. Twenty-three. He's got to come straight back at Karen Wilson, punish him for his mistake. of angles on this black it's just off straight it's just top side of being straight and you can do a little bit less with this than any other angle I'm really using pace it's nicely done actually it's a good shot you know it's a uh, it it. to finish in that area Forty-five. 
think Marie's looking at getting this bunch open 46. again. There's only one more open red. He could come off the right edge of the bunch. He's a master at these shots. Because clearly what's out in the open is not enough to win the frame. Got the perfect angle anyway to go into them again. I'm waiting one. Question of whether the red goes just below the pink actually it might change his decision. It'll go from certain areas. Fifty-four. Well, it held the spot, I think. A little bit close to it. Goodness, this is tight. Try to hold it. Sixty-one. Well, no one expected him to miss the pink, but in the end, he was pleased that. He ran round the table and prevented the cue ball opening the bunch. That was what you call a near miss, wasn't it? I'm surprised that Ronnie didn't go into the bunch when he had the chance there. And clearly, were not enough reds out in the open to win the frame at that visit. Anyway, he got away with it. Can't really miss that red by a mile. When O'Sullivan missed the pink, he needed only one more red in addition to clinch the frame. One. He's been lucky here, O'Sullivan, the last two shots. Didn't have any knowledge of that going in. The brown he needs another colour, another red rather. Yeah. Well, the options he could put something safe. Didn't go for the pot there. Tony O'Sullivan won. Still possible for Wilson to pull this frame out of the fire. But that safety may have attempted to develop the black, which is no use to him where it is. Sullivan just needs one more red now. One. He's got there in the end. This wasn't quite the end to a frame that Sullivan would have liked. Three. And scrambling around, trying to get into the bunch off the pink, which was a difficult shot. Fluke the red. Anyway, well, it won't matter at the end of the day how you win the early frames, as long as you win them. Four. Nine. 
Ten. Although O'Sullivan won five titles last season, he's still looking for ways to improve his game and he's enlisted the help of Steve Feeney at Sightright, who was so influential in Mark Williams winning the world title last spring. Anyway, O'Sullivan's 61 break wasn't quite enough, but he plotted the necessary extra balls later and it's one all.